Well, we have um, three P700s, um, which are a massive uh, capacity of uh, enables us to uh, put through a, a very large quantity of parts. Um, supporting that and giving us a good degree of flexibility, we have two P360s, um, both of which are just in the process of being upgraded to 380s, and one DTM uh, 2500 plus. The, the smaller machines really do provide us with that um, extra ability to respond very quickly to a customer request. And it's not uncommon for us to uh, receive the data in one day and be able to uh, send out uh, particularly smaller parts the following day. Well, we're, the materials we're currently running polymer-wise um, include principally uh, the straightforward polyamide. So probably two-thirds to three-quarters of our work is done with uh, the straight nylon. Um, most of the majority, most of the rest of the parts are made using uh, glass-filled nylon, which is a very useful, very high stiffness material, and in fact can be adapted um, as required to customer, customer needs. Um, a small proportion of our work is done in alumide, the aluminium-filled uh, polyamide, and um, we get uh, quite a bit of interest in polystyrene, and I think that's an area that's got um, a fair bit of potential. The polystyrene material enables us to um, give customers a very high accuracy, high stiffness part that can be used in a process uh, or in the investment casting process, which is very much like lost wax. Casting is another name for it. 